hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to see how to print this inverted reversed right angle triangle using python okay so here in this figure you can see indexing starts from 0 and ends at 4 so this means that this figure contains 5 rows okay so before writing the code it's really important to analyze the pattern okay so here at 0 row we have five stars at, at first row we have one white space and then we have four stars and at second row we have two white space and then we have three stars and at third we have three white space and then we have two stars and at fourth we have four white space and then we have one star okay so now let us see how to write a code to print this pattern in python okay uh, so first i'm gonna initialize a variable called row and then i'm going to take the input from the user so input enter the number of rows okay if you just leave it like this the input is going to be into the uh, input is going to be in the string so we need to typecast it and convert it into the integer type okay i'm just going to place this input function inside the int okay and now this is the correct way to take the input if it is the if the input is integer type okay now that we have taken input from the user we need to put a for loop for i in range of row so here you need to understand the range function okay so if the user enters a row as 5 the value is going to start from 0 and end at 4 okay the value is going to start at 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 it's not gonna take the last value so uh, it'll be at 4 it's gonna end at 4 so if you want it to uh, print till 5 and uh, and the start value should be one then you need to give one over here then comma then row plus one then it's going to include five and exclude zero okay so comma five let's see uh, let's see w what are the values it's going to print now okay so print i so i'm going to give five so you can as you can see here the start value is 1 and the end value is 5 what if I don't give any start value and I'm just gonna uh, I'll just uh, leave it as default so I'll remove this one as well so I'm gonna print I'm going to give the input as 5 it's gonna take uh, the start value as 0 and it's gonna end at 4 okay so at 0 through we have 0 spaces at first row we have 1 at second we have 2 and third we have three at four we have four white spaces so here i'm going to print white spaces first before printing the stars okay so white spaces how many times at zero row we have zero at first row we have one so that means uh, the value is i okay so value is i at, uh, at during the first iteration the i value will be zero at second we have we will be have we will have one and at third we have two at fourth we have three at fifth we have four so it's going to print at at zero throw uh, it's going to print zero white spaces at first row it's going to print one and likewise okay now that we have printed white spaces now it's time for us to print the this stars okay at zero throw we have five stars at first row we have four at second we have three so gradually the white stars are decreasing and sorry uh, gradually the st stars are decreasing and the white spaces are increasing okay so plus this first star is for printing and the second star is for multiplication okay now let's see how to print uh, these stars uh, from this uh, at zero through we have a uh, five so that means if the user enters row as 5 it's going to print 5 stars so we need to reduce stars uh, as we as we move to further row uh, we need to reduce stars so i'm going to subtract it by i okay row minus i so let me explain you in detail so here initially 
the row value I am going to assume as 4 and I value I am going uh, it's going to be 0 so row minus I is equal to 5 minus 0 is equal to 5 okay this is the first iteration during the second iteration I equals 1 then row minus I that is 5 minus 1 uh, it's going to print 4 stars and during third iteration I is going to be 2 and row minus i that is 5 minus 2 it's going to print 3 stars okay so likewise it's gonna continue okay now uh, now the coding part is over let's just execute this program and let's see wha what's the what the output looks like okay i'm going to enter the number of rows i'm going to give 5 so yeah there you have it uh, this is how you print a reversed inverted right angle triangle using python uh, let me execute one more time and I'm going to give 8 okay now this has 8 rows and it is inverted right angled revo inverted reversed right angle triangle okay all right guys this is how you print this pattern using Python code if you like this type of content consider subscribing and I hope you learned something new okay and I'll see you guys in the next video until next time take care bye